Hello, I'm Evan Brand, functional medicine practitioner and certified nutritional therapist, talking with you today about functional medicine and why it is the superior alternative to conventional medicine. Now for myself, I went the conventional route at first with my health symptoms and I didn't get a resolution. I got prescriptions that I never filled and things that would have thrown me down the rabbit hole and kept me in the carousel of the mainstream healthcare system, which I did not want to do. So investigating into the functional alternative and taking different courses and seminars and things to learn this stuff to where I can use this for my clients, it significantly transformed my own health, but the health of tons of other people out in the world that listen to the podcast and work one-on-one -on -one with me. So I want to share some of those things with you today. Now let's look at the conventional model over here. So what it does is it divides different parts of the body into several different sectors where you have cardiology, right? You have gastroenterology, you have neurology. So these are just a few examples of specialties and niche markets for the healthcare system. Now you notice that none of these are connected here. They're different where someone, if you go in, for example, myself, you go in with a symptom such as irritable bowel where you're having a lot of GI upset. So eventually you're going to get referred over to a specialist. You're going to get referred over to a gastroenterologist. Now you could have other symptoms that come along with IBS that I found, such as depression, such as brain fog. So in those cases, you could be referred out to a psychologist. You could be referred out to a psychiatrist. You could be referred out to a medical doctor that may just prescribe something like Adderall for you to keep you up to just stimulate the brain without getting to the root cause of why the brain has dysfunction in the first place. So a lot of these things that go uh, ignored or that just get over specialized where the person is looking through a tiny hole and they're not actually stepping back and looking at the whole picture of the person. That's why a lot of people don't get better. And many of these symptoms in these different categories that get ignored or that don't get fixed via the root cause, they end up with autoimmunity. And so what the conventional model is going to do instead of actually getting to the root cause and saying, well, why does this person have inflammation anyway? Why are they having joint pain? Why are they getting arthritic conditions in their hands where they're unable to do the normal tasks that they want to do with their life? Well, what conventional medicine is going to do is it's going to just give a drug to suppress the inflammation, like Humira, for example. It's one of the best-selling drugs of all times. You'll see the commercial for uh, Phil Nicholson, the famous golf player who is using uh, the drug to suppress his condition. Now, it's kind of a tangent, but golf courses, for example, are one of the most chemically sprayed places that you could ever go. The different fertilizers and chemicals that they use to keep the bugs out and keep the grass looking green. It's just a toxic place to be generally. So I'm not saying it's a direct connection, but there are several different studies popping up now about the amount of chemical used on golf courses and how that can lead to uh, neurology problems, gastroenterology problems, autoimmune conditions, things like that. So. The, the main issue here is that they don't ask why. This system doesn't ask why, ever. It just gives a supposed solution or a Band-Aid solution. So let's just delete that from this. Let's just get rid of that because that's it's not working. So the functional model here. So this is our chronic disease epidemic here. This is the big thing that we're facing right now. And there are tons of different other causes that I could have listed up here, but just through some of the functional medicine training I've gone through, these are some of the main causes that we look for and try to alleviate to fix this main issue here in the center. So starting out, we'll just go clockwise here. So nutrition, I have several different videos on nutrition on this channel. If you are a client of mine, you're gonna have access to my eating plan that I use for all of my clients, we make special modifications depending on what you're dealing with, but the eating plan is the first place to start inside of my members area. Environmental toxicity, so you buy a new car and you're smelling all of those volatile organic compounds, you're getting exposed to 
a power plant right down the street where they're emitting lots of chemicals into the air that way. Maybe you live next to a chemical plant. Maybe you're a painter and you're exposed to a lot of different airborne chemicals that way. So environmental toxicity is huge. Maybe you just sit in five o'clock traffic all the time with your windows down, things like that. So it's everywhere. It's not a matter of if you're exposed to it, it's how much and what you do to properly dilute and get those toxins out of the body. Now, isolation, this is referring to social isolation. So a lot of people have broken families now where someone lives in another state or even another country. We've lost our own personal tribe. We developed as a species to be around 150 people or less. That's about the max that our brain can really comprehend in several different anthropological studies and different, uh, different researchers that are looking at mankind they find that that's about the limit and we don't have that. We are exposed to thousands and hundreds of thousands of people but yet we're still isolated. We may only have one or two best friends. We may be separated or hold grudges against our family members. So isolation's a huge driver of this whole chronic disease epidemic. Now indoor living, this is another thing that wouldn't have existed in the way that it does now. I mean, even in my grandparents' day, they would have gone outside during the day because it would have been too hot to stay in the house without air conditioning. The fans and things like that, they have just didn't cut it. So they would have had to gone outside and get some fresh air. So that indoor living is causing epidemic levels of low vitamin D. I've never tested anyone who does not have low vitamin D levels unless they were already supplementing with it. So low vitamin D, as you may know, it is linked to thousands of different genes that are regulated by vitamin D. So I've actually seen a significant improvement in some of my clients where once we measure and get their vitamin D levels back up into the optimal range, chronic low back pain has disappeared. So there's so many different studies that I can't even begin to name them about the link between sufficient vitamin D levels and chronic disease or symptoms of chronic disease. So indoor living is definitely a big one. Poverty, Obviously, we know that if you don't have the resources to get access to good quality nutritional supplements, you're not having access to good quality food, things like that, it's going to be a lot harder for you. Now, there's tons of different programs out there and websites. Eat Wild is one. Uh, there's tons of different local eating websites where you can team up with people in your city that are all looking to eat real food. And it's a lot more affordable that way. So if you're going to be just pitching in 100 or $2, and you're going to get a couple months worth of beef that is local and organically raised, that's going to be your best choice there. Chronic stress. So Mark Hyman, Dr. Mark Hyman, he's a functional medicine expert himself. He came on the podcast last year, maybe two years ago, and we talked about this idea that 95% of all illness is either caused by or worsened by chronic stress. So at some level, all of these are different stressors here. So chronic stress is just the long term where it's not just that the guy cut you off on the highway, but is that you have this constant fear, you have bills, you have different things. I mean, modern life itself could be described as a chronic stress. So it's not a matter of if you're exposed or if you live in chronic stress. So many people do. It's a matter of how do you deal with that? How do you adapt to that? So you'll definitely want to check out other videos on the channel for that and subscribe for more videos coming because that's a, it's a huge topic. I wrote a whole book that you can get for free. It'll pop up on screen right here. My book, Stress Solutions. I used to sell this thing for 27 bucks. You get it for free now. So just click there and you'll get that book. Sedentary lifestyle, this is huge as well. Something that we would have not been able to do a couple hundred years ago because we would have had to walk and run and hunt and gather and we didn't have other people that were doing our labor for us. So we didn't have the ability to sit on the computer all day and still not have to worry about our food source and our water source and our shelter, things like that. So sedentary lifestyle is huge. This isn't just for young people. This is for the elders as well. You know, I'm not singling any group out. Everyone is responsible. Get some movement into your life. It's going to be very helpful for stimulating brain function. I went for a walk right before this video and it's helping me to stay focused and be engaged once you have that blood flowing. So this is the functional medicine viewpoint of health and this is the far superior method because if you have a joint pain or you have fatigue, we're going to say, well, why do you have fatigue? Is your sleep bad 
Are you lacking B vitamins because the chronic stress caused you to burn through your minerals and your vitamins? Are you exposed to environmental toxins that cause you to have joint pain and we just need to get those toxins out with a targeted detoxification program? Are you socially isolated and you're taking all the supplements and things like that, but you're just a hermit crab? You know, these are all the different pieces of the puzzle. There's obviously many more, but these are some of the core foundations here that make the difference between you truly getting to the root cause of your health symptoms and you just getting a Band-Aid fix that's not going to work and you're going to stay on that health carousel. The goal of functional medicine is to get you better by getting to the root cause of the issue and then allowing you to go on back into the world a healthier, happier person. So if this sounds good to you and you're ready to take the next step, you can click on screen or click below, schedule a free consultation with myself. We'll talk about your options and if and how I can help you. I work with clients all around the world, so there's nobody too far. I have people as far as New Zealand that I can help here from the United States, and it's such a blessing and such a privilege to be able to leverage technology in such a beneficial way besides just, say, watching cat videos on YouTube here. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk with you in the next one. This is Evan Brand signing out. Bye.